The task we are going to complete today is cut and thread rigid conduit. In this case, we are using 3 quarter inch conduit and a 535 threader. The steps required to thread conduit using a power pony are similar, but require a tripod stand to secure the conduit, an oil bucket in an oil absorbent tray, a pipe cutter, and a pipe reamer. The task assumes we have a rigid 535 threader with the appropriate die for the conduit size, rigid conduit, an oil absorbent rag, and leather gloves. Personal protective equipment required to complete the task include a hard hat, safety glasses, and leather gloves. High visibility vest or shirts and steel toe boots may also be required depending on the situation. You will need a tape measure and pencil or sharpie to accomplish this task. You should not need any additional material for this task. The first step of the task is to measure and mark the conduit at the desired length. Mark the conduit at the location where you want to cut. Once the conduit is marked, install the conduit into the threader and secure it using the front and back locking mechanisms. After the conduit is installed, align the cut line with the cutter. Use the foot pedal to turn the conduit to ensure you have the correct alignment. After verifying the alignment is correct, cut the conduit by using the foot pedal and turning the cutter handles until the conduit is completely cut. You should take care to hold the end of the conduit to prevent the portion that is being removed from falling to the ground. Set aside or discard the portion that has been removed. The next step is to ream the cut end of the conduit. Use the carriage handle to position the reaming tool as necessary. Now that the cut is complete, it is time to thread the conduit after verifying the markings for the correct size of conduit. The thread is done by setting the die in place, locking the carriage, and swinging the oiler into place and verifying the oil is flowing. Continue to thread the conduit until the desired thread width has been met, then disengage the carriage lock. The typical width of the threaded portion of the conduit is just past the end of the teeth of the die. Next, remove the die and disengage the carriage. Remove excess oil using the rag. Finally, unlock and remove the conduit from the threader. Repeat or clean up as necessary. 